to catch up with someone who's become a friend of our show and is making his fourth appearance with us today. When I last saw my friend Frankie Grande, we were presenting an award together at the 2023 GLAAD Awards this year. We're both nominees. Thank you very much. The Tamron Hall Show for Outstanding Variety, our talk show episode, and Frankie is a cast member in the queer comedy horror Summoning Sylvia. It's about a gay bachelor party which turns spooky. Check it out. <laughs> Mm, great, so now that I've warmed up. So, really quick, I just got off the phone with Jamie. Silence. Ah! Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, okay. my hand, someone grabbed my hand. Hmm, I see it's already working. Please welcome back to our show, our friend Frankie Grande! Come on out! Sweater. Oh, you know, it is it is quite cold here in New York, and yeah. I keep reminding myself every time I have to go to work and sing Celine Dion in 30 degrees. But that's cold and cute. Cold yeah, and right? cute. You like I that? love it. I love it. Thank you. look fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you so on much. On the GLAAD nomination for Summoning Sylvia. It's so crazy. I, I know how much this means to you because I yeah. know how hard you work yes. on your shows, on your performances, yeah. on everything you do. Um, this was us at GLAAD yes, when we I were know. presenting. Yes, we gorgeous, <laughs> always. Okay, so full disclosure, <laughs> that big grin on my face. Every time I'm around uh, Frankie, I lose myself. I'm like, we're laughing in the background. We People are. are like, what's wrong with you? But we this are. is fantastic. I know that you've said of this nomination, it feels like you're starting to climb towards the pinnacle. Yeah. What's the pinnacle for you at this point? Well, you know, I feel like I've just kind of been uh, working so hard and doing yeah. so much. And I think that um, my whole career, I didn't realize like how much I was representing for the LGBTQ plus wow. community and everything that I've always done, you know, yeah. on, on Big Brother, you know, yeah. I was like loud and proud and gay. And then on Nickelodeon, I play a queer character that the children get to watch and look yeah. up to. And now, you know, I'm getting to do queer films. And like, so it's just like, I, people being able to see that leads to acceptance. Right. It leads to acceptance. And so yeah, that's I to me. That. I love that. Being nominated for a GLAAD award, like that to me is what I've been trying to do my whole life and I'm oh. getting emotional talking yeah. about it, but like I just want people to understand that like LGBTQ plus people are, are just like everyone else. Yes, and we deserve, we deserve the same rights as everybody yeah. else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. And you know, I, I, I think so many great things about you, but what I also love is the family, right? We, yeah. we, I know you've been sober now six years. Six, yes. six, six years. Oh my goodness. goodness. Hey. I, I actually started oh. crying when I read this quote you said to People Magazine of, of your sister and your family. You said, when my sister wants to ask a question mm -hmm. or my mother needs help with something, I'm the first phone call, which I wasn't for years. Yeah. I mean, that just sent me yeah. into a tailspin. It is. It's <laughs> it's something oh. that I'm so grateful for, mm. and it's something that took a very difficult situation, you know? Like, yeah. deci decided, I don't know if I decided to get sober, realizing mm. that I needed to get sober yeah. because they were not picking up the phone to call me anymore, you know? It wasn't like, I need help, I need advice from my big brother, I need mm. advice from my son. It just, like, it was, n n my phone wasn't ringing anymore. Mm. And when I realized that that was the case, I knew something had to change. Right. And so the fact that I, I get those calls, because when, when somebody calls you and asks you for advice and says, you're the only person that can help me, it gives you purpose. Yeah. It gives you yeah. Like a yeah. feeling like yeah. I need to be here. I, I'm doing something with my life. Yeah. So getting those phone calls now is like, yeah, I'm I'm doing the thing. I love that. I talk. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I say this to everybody that's in my world. I want to be your get out of jail free card. Yes. I want you to call me. Now I'm not gonna get you out of jail, but you can call me from jail. But it is, it's an honor that yeah. people call you when they are in need. And yeah. I know we've talked a lot about Ariana and now she, she's gone through this public divorce and mm -hmm. her new relationship. She's come out with her new song. Yes, and when I read yes, these I lyrics, am. honey, I was like, go Ariana Grande with the hit. Yes, okay, am. her latest song is called Yes And. And, and the lyrics say, your business is yours yeah. and mine is, is mine. mine. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 
when you heard, you know, you've watched everything she's been going through in the tabloids, and they just never give people a break. They don't. But when she took back her power Correct. with those lyrics, yeah. my business is mine, yes. were you like, that's my sister? Yes, I'm yes. so proud of her. Yeah. I'm so proud of her for the way that she has navigated everything in her life. And, you know, I still I still feel, I don't understand it. I don't I don't yeah. understand the, the tabloid's obsession with, with ripping down celebrities and wishing, especially- Particularly power, female women. Successful women, yes, 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 absolutely. Like, I don't understand, like, why, like, it's, you know what, I'm so excited for them yeah. to cut to Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm so excited right. for it. But they want to tear her down and right. they want to say, get out of my my sport. It's like, what are you talking They're about? She's selling this is tickets, fantastic. Right, selling so, tickets. So I don't understand why we love to tear down women, but what I will say is that I'm I'm so proud of her for, for taking the high road. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And not for like sitting there and being like, I need to respond to this and this and this and this. Why? Right. Why? Why who who do you owe to, to have a response to everything? Your yeah. business is yours and mine is mine. That and is great advice. Let her be an artist and let us support women, especially in the music yes, industry, because it is that. a tough industry for women. And so see, like, that's where you are them. now in your life. You, know, you talk about the relationship with your family. Six years of sobriety leads you to this opportunity to be there for her Absolutely. and speak so confidently. Yes. Now, and I, be like, I know you, and yeah. I know the real you, and I'm yeah. telling you, you are the best person I've ever met, Ariana. That's oh what I'm God. saying. She is kind, she is compassionate, she is considerate. She puts other people's feelings before her own all the time, sometimes to a fault. So I know the real her, and I'm like, you're fine. Yeah, you know, you're I, great. I you're had great. a chance to you're great. meet her the and best. your whole family, yeah. and all of y'all are like that. I met yeah. your mom, everybody's like that. You have been married now two years. Yes, I have. But who's counting? <laughs> Nobody. Look at this. I uh, love it. My husband. What He's a so beautiful cute. couple. What? So you and Hale have been there together two years. That big old diamond ring on your finger. Put yeah. a ring on it. How would you describe two years of marriage now? It is beautiful. It is it is blissful, and it is so supportive. You know, like I'm doing a show that is eight shows a week right oh. now. That was him on stage with me beforehand, like coming to see me at the show. It is a tough job you know yeah. it is a tough gig to come home fully depleted and fully exhausted and then have someone waiting for you there though that yeah. understands and that gets it and is like you know what what does if, he get most about you he understands um my my love for being nerdy <laughs> <laughs> like for all things nerdy my sci-fi okay, fantasy you, like sci i mean last time i was here you gave me star wars yes, lightsabers yes, but there it yes. is that we have that we play with together, oh like we are children. Well, look in and, the middle here. My baby Appa dressed as Darth Vader. So you, you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he understands my desire to play in life. Yeah. Because that's, I, I'm a joyful person. I just want everything to be fun and everything to be a game. And he gets that and he says, you know what he says? Yes, and. Oh. That's what he says to me. He says, yes, yes and, and what are we gonna do next? What are we Let's gonna do? go, let's play. Let's have I a, love it, y'all are it's beautiful, fun. it's fun. But he also gets how hard I work. You know, and you do, I mean, you've got the films, you've got the off-Broadway hit in Titanic. Yes. You can't stop one side, but you're at the pinnacle, and I, lo I love, both are busy, and, and, and I love that. Listen, the pinnacle doesn't mean I can't go higher. Of let's, course. Let's get that, let's get that straight. No. But I feel like I have been climbing towards this moment of recognition, mm. and it just feels so good. I want to keep climbing, but also, I've learned in my sobriety, yeah. like, we need to be present. Yeah. And grateful for where we are right now, and I am so grateful for where I am right I'm now. I'm so grateful for you. I love <laughs> this person.